This video will demonstrate how to do an initial site survey with SCS 900. The first step is to measure the outer boundary of the site using a line measure type. Go to the measure type icon in the bottom right and select new line. For this video, the line type will be an outer boundary. For this video, we will also name the site lot. Go ahead and hit accept. The target cursor represents the user in the field. When a point is located in the field, hit measure. This will store a line point in SES 900, and this will be the starting point of the line. In this video, the coverage grid is on. This is shown by the blue squares that show up every time a point is measured. The different shades of blue are based on the elevation of the point. As you can see here, the elevation between control point 1 and 2 is not consistent, so it would be a good idea to measure additional shots between control points. The outer boundary is like a cookie cutter. Once this boundary is done, surface measurements cannot be measured outside the boundary. In general, a border is being created for the site measurements. Another thing to note about the coverage grid is that the lighter blue represents low elevation points and the darker blue represents high elevation points. All right, so we'll just go ahead and measure points to create the boundary and we'll try to close it off here. All right, so the outer boundary measurements are almost done. Now let's go back to the measure type, select point, and set up SX900 to start measuring surface points within the boundary. In this video, the point code will be called spot level. And for this video, no will be selected for show every time. Go ahead and hit accept. As you can see in this video, the outer boundary is closed automatically. And now we'll hit measure to start measuring surface points within the boundary. Coverage grids still show up when measuring a point. Under map option, the size of the coverage grid can be changed. The goal here is to have the entire site covered with coverage grids. Changing the size of the coverage grid will ensure that enough points are measured within the boundary. Right now, the measurement mode is set to standing. To be more productive, let's change the measurement mode to walking. 
In walking mode, SCS900 will measure points automatically based on the horizontal and vertical intervals of the user's movement. In this video, the vertical height will be 2.2 meters. This indicates that the pole being used will be 2.2 meters off the ground. The horizontal interval will be set to 2.5 meters. And the vertical interval will be set to 0.5 meters. Once that's done, go ahead and hit accept. Now the user can walk around with a rover, for example, and SES 900 will measure points automatically. The coverage map helps determine where points need to be measured within the boundary. In the bottom right, there are two buttons. The stop button stops automatic measurements. The button right next to the stop button is used to make additional measurements. This will allow the user to stop automatic measurements and move to different locations to start automatic measurements. Alright, looks like the boundary is almost full of surface measurements. And there you have it. This concludes how to do an initial site with SES 900.